Happy New Year and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Today I'm taking down the holiday decorations and resetting the house for the new year. And I usually like to start with the tree because even though it comes down much faster than it goes up, it does still take the most time to get packed up and put away. And I like to start at the top and work my way down. And I just pull off everything I need to reach with the ladder and I'll pull off as much as I can carry at one time so that I can make as few trips up and down the ladder as I can. I know that you are having a heart and once I have the ornaments off the tree, I can sort them into groups and it's easier and faster to sort the ornaments as I pull them off the tree than it is to search the tree for one type of ornament at a time. And taking a few extra minutes to organize everything now will save so much time and aggravation later. And I already have everything out, so I only need to touch something once instead of putting everything away only to have to pull it all back out and sort through it all over again. Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you I know that you are having trouble believing right now But everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to put your trust into us and as tempting as it is to shove all this ribbon into a bag or a box, there's a few reasons that I take a few extra minutes to roll up the ribbon. We don't have a lot of storage space, so rolling up the ribbon is going to condense this pile so that it fits into a small box. And if I were to shove the ribbon into a bag, it would crush the ribbon. And then the following year, I would have to deal with all those creases and wrinkles. So I'm hoping that next year it will be easier to decorate the tree because everything will be separated and I can see how much I have to work with. One of the drawbacks of glass ornaments is that they're too fragile to toss all together and so I put all of the ornaments back in their original packaging and it takes more time and more room but they need to be packed up so that they don't break. I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to put your trust into us and we will help you through, cause we only want what's best, what's best for you. Every year we get gifts packaged in holiday tins and they're not something that I can use throughout the year, but I can use them to store ornaments and decorations. Another advantage to storing ornaments in their original packaging is that it's easier to tell if something's missing so that nothing gets thrown out with the Christmas tree.
once I got the tree ornaments down and packed up, I repeated the same process with the garland. And I've recently started adding ornaments to the garland with wire ties and it would be so much easier to leave the ornaments attached and pack them up with the garland. But the glass ornaments are too fragile so I have to deconstruct the whole thing. And I may invest in shatterproof ornaments in the future but for now I'm just using what I have. In high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together She said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Packing up all the ornaments can be a bit tedious, but once that's done, the garland and the tree can pack up pretty quickly. And I think I've had this garland for about 20 years now, and we linked several strands of garland to form one long piece and then wrap them with lights. And last year we added a bit more garland to fill it out, but having one long strand of garland makes it easier to hang up and store the garland away. And then he said, I wrote you a love song. I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am your horse Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show they're in love now, and I wanted you to know
I always have mixed emotions about putting away the holiday decorations. I get so used to having the extra decorations around the house that when I take them down, it always feels a little empty at first, but it's always nice to have the house back to normal. There are definitely advantages to having an artificial tree, but even fake trees shed their pine needles, so before I put the chair back in the corner, I need to vacuum all the loose needles that came off the tree. Glitter can add a magical sparkle to the Christmas tree, but all the ornaments piled up on the ottoman made a huge mess, and it looks like someone set off a glitter bomb, and it doesn't matter how many times I vacuum, I'm sure I'll be finding glitter until next Christmas. And since I need to take the blanket off to vacuum the ottoman, I'll go ahead and toss the blanket in the dryer for a few minutes, and I'll just use the no heat setting to get rid of all the glitter and freshen up the blanket. And I'm just using the small rotary attachment to vacuum most of the ottoman, and then I'll switch to the crevice tool to get out anything that's fallen into the tufts. thing left is to swap out the seasonal decorations and clean up around the house and there are a few spaces that I'm happy with so I'm just going to be putting things back where they were before Christmas but I have a lot to do today so I don't want to spend a lot of time restyling the decorations today so I'm just putting a few things back so it doesn't feel quite so empty 
Most years we get everything taken down and packed up in the same day, but I won't store everything away until I get a chance to search the house for the things that I missed the first time around, so I'm just going to move everything into the garage for now. There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see I like to use command hooks to hang the garland on the stairs. They're easy to put up and take down and they don't damage the finish of the paint. And once I take them down, I'll just store the hooks away and reuse them next year. And the garland left pine needles everywhere, so I'm going to go through the house with a duster and quickly knock down the glitter and the pine needles and then I can vacuum everything up. While I was busy inside, my husband was busy repairing some of the outdoor lights, so when he finished up with the lights, we were able to bring the chair back into the room, and everything is now back where it should be.
and I hope this video gives you a little motivation to get ready for the new year and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone who could use a little motivation this year and remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications if you haven't already done so and thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you in 2023. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word, Perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper